Hey guys, welcome to the board. I haven't done a video recently. I wanted to go over a Dance with Dragons though, because that's something that I had in real life, but I never actually had the chance to play. Um, I'll show you guys why that is in just a minute. I'm gonna do a skirmish game, just to get a feel for it, because I've never played it before. And let's see who I wanna play. Let's go with Greyjoy. Everyone likes a good pirate. And I think with this setup, maybe playing as Greyjoy will be a little bit less of a iffy start. But let's see how I do. So something that uh, I was surprised to see is that with the base game, you got a bunch of little skirmish games you could play or specific scenarios. Whereas this one, you really don't have that. You really just have what came with the actual board game itself. And I never actually got a chance to play this because... In the original game, there's a little bit of room to grow for the first turn or two, which lets new players kind of get a feel for the game. And this, this is just a, a, a mess. This, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Like Lannisters are all the way over here in King's Landing. Dragonstone is surrounded by Tyrell turn one, and they are just stretched across the map. Baratheon is stretched between Storms and Dragonstone all the way up to the north here. And I, I get why it's this way. It's supposed to depict um, kind of a little bit later in the books after the, the War of the Five Kings, um, which makes no sense because of the, the, the name is Dance with Dragons. So, whatever. Uh, it also includes some new cards, which for me is here um and i don't really know, really know what these cards are i'm kind of just gonna play this as i go um if you are attacked and lose this combat gain three power i don't i'm kind of iffy on the art with this i think the base game had a little bit better art but i but this is being taken straight from the board game itself the Unlike the original game, they didn't even add uh, extra scenarios. But this is really good if you have maybe seen some of my other videos and your player group's getting really familiar with the starts that you're supposed to do. This really changes it up. Um, like as Greyjoy, I could turn one attack winner foul, although I doubt that's going to be very successful. So let's see. It looks like we have some open area, especially around here. Seaguard... I'm really surprised they kept Seaguard as open as this and didn't give it to any player. Um, granted, I'm going to have to fight Lannister for it. Uh, might as well take care of <laughs> have Valyrian Steel Blade. I do have my bullets down here. Okay. Could also go for High Garden. Or. Oh! Interesting. It looks like they added some additional garrisons. Like Old Town has a garrison of three, High Garden has a garrison of two. And this is not something that I remember from the board game itself, is additional garrisons in areas. Which it, it does make sense. I mean, they have basically put me right beside. Oh, and Starfell's are completely undefended. Although I suspect it won't stay that way. Um, okay. I don't have any special orders. I hope I don't get raided from there. Doing a support and try to move in from... Sony Shore, man, I really don't have many land troops at all. I do have these units here. What the heck are they even doing here? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's skip up this area because it's really not doing a lot for me. I really don't want this area either. So let's pull back these forces. We're going to support into Sea Guard. I am a 
a bit tempted to try to raid just in case they raid here. And I don't know why I have so many units here. But I've already used all my moves. Um, now, they also have Redwind Straits here completely vulnerable. All right. Let me do another support here. So that'll give me options so I can move anywhere here or anywhere down here. They are higher up in the throne track, so I don't think there's any point of trying to raid here um, if they have a raid because theirs will go first. Um, but I also don't have a better plan for this, really. So sure. Now, Bay of Ice, let's go ahead and raid. Maybe we can raid on the, maybe they'll try to consolidate power here. Okay, I'll try not to overthink it. Uh, where am I missing an order at? Uh, oh, hmm. my knight here. Yeah, let me consolidate power there because that's a pretty safe spot to do it. All right, so there's a support here, which I'm not too concerned about. Whoever runs moving could potentially attack. Tons of potential attacks there. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to stall. Uh, that raid's not gonna bother me. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this support, I believe. It'd be really nice if I could have raided into Lannis port there. Yeah, it's pretty interesting that they lose the Northern Territory there as Winterfell because that's such a good area to consolidate power as the Starks. I don't even think this thing can raid anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a poor pirate. I uh, can't even raid things successfully. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of tension around Seaguard. Okay. So it's up to me. Uh, I really want to give the Starks some opportunity to move. I don't want them attacking me over Grey Wa Water Watch or Sea Guard. Sorry. Um, especially not with both of those. I don't know what's different. Oh my gosh, that is the worst picture of Roost Bolton ever. Why why does why does he not have clothes on? Why uh, I don't like this art at all. Why Oh right, that's what I wanted to actually look at this card and see what it did. Okay, that's not bad. If you reach house card it's still in your hand, this card gains plus one and three swords. Um uh, okay, that's that's vicious. But do I want to be on? I guess I could with my supply. I have a max of three. I already have my boats here. So it doesn't look like anyone's going to take Starfall. So that's free real estate. Let's take this and we'll hit Starfall. That is one heck of a journey. There we go. We got it. We made it there. Um, do we want to spend uh, influence? It would be unfortunate to lose the supply, but we're going to gain one there anyhow. And I don't think the Starks are going to let me hold it for very long. Um, nah, nah. We need it for if the bidding comes up. We need to get on that Braven Court track.
Hmm. Well, they didn't hold that for very long. Now, it would be a bit of a brutal blow for me to go in and to hit Blackwater. <laughs> Just to take them out. Uh, man, I do like the fact that Jamie Lannister actually is a useful card now. I think this is the one of the better pieces of art, too. Uh, do I have a card that would help me with this situation? Because what I'm envisioning is I hit here, and then he's just going to attack back from the twins. And with two fours, that is an unfortunate situation. Uh, nope, I'm higher up on the fiefdom. If you win this combat, you may search the Western Dice. Place it on the... Okay, so search the Westeros deck for a card of your choice and place it on top. That may actually be useful. And this... Oh, this makes him a lot better. Because this would get played, I believe, after revealing. So you can pay the power cost afterwards. Okay. I could try to go Blitz Finger and then, hmm, let's see. Well, it'll tell me. Apparently I can go almost everywhere. All right, very weak combat here. If I go in strong, it would let me throw a weak card like Roderick. And then if I get hit back, that would be an attack of three versus a defense of three. So I should win, especially if I'm higher up on the fiefdom. Yeah, let's take Seaguard. Where's my other footman at? There we go. Um, all right, yep, let's do it. All right, so we have of course I want to support myself. Why would I not? All right, so if they play their four card, that would put them up at five. So as long as I at least tie, I'm good, which Roderick would do. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so, oh man, something I should have checked is... That's great, you need support instead. Uh, any player other than your opponent who grants support to your opponent must grant... Oh, you can make someone else support you? Okay, doesn't matter. Um, okay, no, no real gotcha cards from Starks. So that's good. What is that annoying hand? That That's new. Okay. Uh, nope, I don't want to use the Valyrian Steel Blade. And... Okay. I think I'm going to end up with tons of castles relative to everyone else. So let's put Mustrig on top. Good. I don't even have to burn one of my four cards. Maybe it would have been smarter to go and try to get Flint's Finger too. It is so weird having Tyrell on that side of the board in the water. Oh, everyone's mustering. Hopefully they'll hit supply limit when they actual this muster shums up. Okay. Oh, I have regrets. Okay, here. We do only have two spots for our supply. So we do have to be a little mindful of that. You can attack over here with East Summer Sea pretty easily. I don't know if I'm able to hold this at all, actually. Nice port going down. Hmm. So this is definitely going to be an area where I'm going to have to muster in a different spot. 
for my supply. Seaguard, I think, is going to be... Oh, a double upgrade would be perfect. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So knight upgrade. Knight upgrade. Beautiful, beautiful. Here... Oh man, I underestimate how many castles I have, I think. Oh well, we'll be fine. Uh, let's just do another a night upgrade. And then, oh, maybe choosing mustering was a poor decision. Um, oh, I already have all my ships out. Okay. So then let's just do another night. <laughs> uh, Baratheon trying to take back the water there. I don't know what this is. Let me just not get the worst outcome. Good. Okay, I wasn't the lowest bidder. So the highest bidder got nothing? Nothing, I guess? That's weird. I wonder if that's a bug. All right, I don't think Martell is going to let me keep this unless they're busy with Storm's End. And I'm not actually a fan of having so many ships concentrated down there anyhow. This is the problem with that component limit, what, especially with your ships, because I have this entire side of the board, which is fantastic, but I can't actually raid as much as I would like. And especially going against computer opponents, it's a little more difficult because I know that Tyrell took back King's Landing, and if you're playing against the player, you would think the Lannisters would be a little emotional about that and try to take it back, but going against computer, you never know. Um, taking Fun's Finger would be pretty low hanging fruit. Holding Seaguard, I would love to do. And uh, this. I don't think it'd be too hard to hold Seaguard. So let me just throw a what's defense token. I might come back to it. Here, let's throw a raid. I'm really hoping they'll try to consolidate here and I can take that from them. I actually want to move these troops. And do I go before Martel? Okay. So I can get out of Starfall if I need to. But I want to move these troops into here to try and raid this area. And this, I'm assuming, is why they got the extra garrisons, because you are really vulnerable as Tyrell here. With all of your ships on the ex exact opposite side of the board. But this is just too juicy of a target for me to pass up. So we're going to try to move these guys in. It'd be nice to drop one little unit of troops there. Um, okay. Do, 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 All right, you're going to move out. Try to save my units from being taken. I might actually drop you off in the arbor. You are going to consolidate power for me. And then what do we have left for units? Really not much to raid there. Do a support and a support. It's possible I get attacked from the Golden Sound, but hopefully this will uh, help with that. Okay. Uh, yep, a little bit of movement from Martel. What 
the heck are you supporting? All right, so I'm choosing a raid order to resolve. Let me raid your raid, sure. What on earth are you trying to do here? You don't even have that great of territory to defend. Ah, I see. That's smart. Try to move off and hold there. Yeah, I can see it. All right. So they could come and land bridge to there with this one footman. And I don't have great support. And then they could also attack here. Again, not great support. And Martel's general theme is don't attack me or you're really going to regret it. What? Oh, that's really unique mechanic. For each card in your hand, you get a sword and a fortification, but it loses strength. Yeah, let me get out of, well, I could throw a poor card just in defense of running away. I don't have any low cards that have a fortification though, so let me not risk it. I could a uh, high card in. <laughs> yeah, I can go through the eight. That'll be fine. Uh, let me grab. Mm, Rainbow Watch wouldn't be too bad, but Flint's Finger is easy picking. So let me grab that. Come on, little guy. There you go. And do I want to leave something? No. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, turn a house card, discard pile by paying power equal to the combat cost of that card. And we got rid of shirtless, shirtless ruse. Why? Maybe, maybe someone who's read the books can explain to me why Bruce does not have a shirt on. Um, he reminds me of what's that? What's that blonde guy from all those romance novels? Um, I can't remember his name. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. No, I don't want to. Oh, but if if I did. No, uh, but I mean, there is nice big garrisons here and here you don't have a uh, storm's in has a garrison, but Ooh, great joy. You have so many juicy targets. No, we can't really, uh, I kind of like to go over here because there's a lot fewer garrisons. That I would have to go through. I mean, not a lot, but here I would be able to hit. High Garden and Old Town. Yeah. It's going to be a pain going through those garrisons, but we'll see if I can do it. Hopefully, Tyrells will be distracted or something. I don't actually know how much I don't really play this single player at all. So I don't actually know how much the secret alliances and packs for the AI are honored. Well, that's a whole lot of nothing. I don't want to see that. Prefer to be voting. Okay, if I want to take Old Town, I need to really hit it with something. Alternatively, I can raid it. This, oh, this is a problem. 
Alliance, 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 Alliance. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, come on, Lancer. I mean, it's secret pact. Okay, so they accepted it. But this, I don't actually trust it too much. Um, I can raid, and then no matter what, I'll probably get rid of, of a support or a consolidate power. Alternatively, I could support myself. Support myself. And that may give me enough to break through here if they don't support an old town. I can continue to defend here. Um, yeah, let's raid just in case. I think it's time to march out here. So those knights can attack High Garden. Hopefully succeed. And what are you going to do? Support, Flint's Finger. Um, I think I can move you. No. No, I don't want to give that up. I don't want to give that up. You could also get raided here. I think it's a low chance that I get raided in Greywater Watch, though. It's probably a defense or support token. And this will get me one influence. Okay. So I have to place one here. Let me do... Well, I'm not going to get attacked here, obviously. I could support for High Garden. But I think coming in with the troops that I have, well, then I'd have to defend it, sure. Okay. It might get raided or attacked from there. Where do I have left to place an order? Okay. Well, that's unexpected. Oh, well. I do need you to stay there. Let's do a defense. Okay. I do really want to take high riding too because the two supply makes it a very, very delicious. Oh man, is that a, seriously a wow? Oh wow. All right, I can get rid of the rate. Yeah, please get rid of the rate token there. I really lucked out on that. I mean, the rate token being able to prevent the consolidate from getting hit. I'll have to remember that in the future. What can you get rid of? I don't think you can get rid of anything. Nope. Okay. Okay. So that just became a very definite place. If I attack with four, I won't have much support. It'd be four and four. The Tyrells have used mace. Um, and there's no support from anywhere. And once I kind of get through that garrison. Oh, huh, okay. And where's my other move at? Oh, I think I only played one. Uh, you have a four. And they're going to come back and just annihilate me. Absolutely crush me. I could go one and one. The highest card they can play is a three. So it's still not going to be enough. But if I attack with the two. All right, math, 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 math. They play four. They're defending with four. That would put it at eight. I'm attacking with two. 
six, seven. Nope, won't do it. Okay, so I have to attack with both knights and just really hope supply doesn't show up. Although, if it does, I think the way I go down would be okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd be fine. Because I have, if you just look at the track here, one, two, two, I would still fit into, you'd always have the ones, two, two, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so let's take both of these and we're gonna attack Old Town. Not exactly where we intended to go originally, but I'm not getting through all that mess. Yeah, confirm. All right, so they have a three they can play which would bring them up to seven. Which means I really only have to play a two to just guarantee win this. If they do play Randall, I really don't like that art. Oh well. Ignore text. If you're defending it, it if you're defending your home, oh, this is important. Or an area that contains one of your power tokens, your opponent's final combat strength is two. Oh. So if they play Marjorie Tyrell, I think they just win. So maybe I shouldn't go too much in on this. Five would put me at six. Where do I have a shield on? Okay, uh, let me do this. That way if they play Marjorie, I don't play anything. I just retreat peacefully. But if they play someone like Randall, which will destroy a lot of troops, I can pay to offset it. Yes, play him. All right, so I want to spend one power. Yes. And then I want to use the Valyrian Steel Blade. And that will tie us, which I then should win on. Okay, good. Okay, so that brings Ramsey back for them. Oh, did that... Your final combat strength is equal to... Those, those are weird cards where it just arbitrarily range, changes your combat strength. I don't know if that's relative to your troops there plus whatever it adds. Like, is it the combat strength of the card that changes? Or does Marjorie, for instance, really just say opponent's combat strength is two no matter what? Wow, that's overkill. That siege engine's really exposed, though. They didn't even use it to attack a castle. That's not scary for Lannister. No, don't work. Don't. I think they chose nothing happens. Okay. Wildlings attack. Um, I have 12. I think the max is 20. Let me just, again, try not to be the lowest. Attack again. Martel excluded. So it really just a power drain. Okay, good. Not the lowest. Huh. Alright, I'd really like to take High Garden. 
but I don't know how I'm going to get the strength to do it. I don't think being in the Bay of Ice does me any good as Greyjoy. I just, I don't think it's helping me at all. Um, I could come up here and take some land up here. But I, I'm, I just, I don't have the boats to, to keep everything. And I probably should have moved away from there sooner than when I did. Oh, we did up reconcile uh, supply. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I could attack Winterfell. <laughs> sure, oh my gosh, shirtless ruse. And it even looks like he's got two. Uh, yikes. Okay. So let me try. catching him without a defense. Although if I move away from here, they're going to come from there. Oh, so much defense. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Let's, let's not, let's not do this yet. We're going to move away from Flint's finger. Keep defending there, sure. Um, might as well defend here, raid here. Okay, so the idea is we're going to come from Flint's Finger and take, say, three towers or something like that, or use it as a stall in case we don't want to attack first. And if I can get High Garden, Old Town, Seaguard, and Pike, I think that would be really, really good setup for when mustering comes up. Oh, ignore that sound. Playing uh, a game called Warzone in the background. All right, raid order to resolve. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like that one bit. I thought we were friends, Lannister. Thought we were friends. Um, okay, so there's nothing that you can raid. Ah, shoot, I could have raided that. Oh man. That's fine. I thought he even told me I had nothing that I could. I thought he even said I had no available things to raid. Okay, then moving out is good. My concern is that when Lancer attacks, I'm not going to be able to move away from Flint's Finger. And I have so much support right now that I might as well use it it's a beast Lannister yikes um, you know I'm wondering if I attack high guard and that could go out some more of the cards that I don't want to see because this would be attacking with a strength of one plus a support of two, three, four. Yeah. Let's do this first. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and control it. Maybe I'll get lucky and a mustering will show up. All right, so I should have two supports on myself. All right, and the highest card they can play is a two, which would kill my unit, assuming I lose. Or Marjorie, which just, I think says no. 
would just throw me down to a combat strength of you're defending your home area or an area that contains one of your power tokens. Your opponent's final combat strength is two. All right. Um, so I do have my Thiefdom track, uh, the Brilliant Steel Blade. So if they play two, which would kill one of my units, that would bring them up to five. This one here. I like the fact that it says if you're attacking and loses combat, that way you can't just throw a defense. Anyhow, tangent. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do this. That way if they play Marjorie, I'll get a little power out of it. Okay, let's see what she does. Does she really just bring me to two? Okay. Now, I think the gotcha here is I could use my Valyrian Steel Blade to add one more and then actually win this. But when I retreat here, I can, I'll just go back to Flint's Finger, which I don't think I'm going to be losing this round. So I think I'm okay with losing this. Especially because I'll gain the three power when I do. So yeah, let's go ahead and do no on this. Now I thought in the board game when you lost the combat, you got to choose where you could retreat to out of any place you owned. And it's interesting it didn't give me that choice. But it's possible I just have the rules wrong. Oh, they didn't march against me. Um, so the computer, I guess, honors alliances pretty well. Uh, yeah, let me help out. Let me help out the Lannisters. They're my buddies. Oh, that kind of gave me a little shiver saying that. All right, now we can actually go in and take High Garden. And I'm wondering if I can take three towers too. If the battle area is a sea area, all your participating ships add, okay. I think I can. They're not gonna be able to march this route anyhow. It's a bit greedy. One, two, three, a support, four, five. I'd easily be able to take higher garden, sure. See, if I take this, yeah, I think it would just be greedy. Let me keep a little bit of oomph over into Old Town. Yeah. Oh, what if I didn't want to support myself this time? <laughs> I don't know why it asked that. Alright, so I should have a guaranteed victory here. I can go ahead and play him to off. Yeah. Man, Greyjoy is just vicious. Okay. Or maybe, I guess I haven't used any of my swords. Uh, nope. Why would I do that? Now, I am a really... I'm, I'm really disappointed that they released A Dance with Dragons. It is, I think, the first expansion they did for the board game after the original. So maybe they were just mid-development with 
the original video game and kind of working on marketing and release that kind of stuff. And then went with this one as a low risk expansion. Whereas, because Mother of Dragons would obviously take a lot of extra work compared to um, A Dance with Dragons. It's really just a different map setup. So I think a little bit of a easy win for them. Um, oh, great. We have some mustering going on. So I really just want to hold these areas. I'm already at my ship limit. Okay. And I'm also apparently at my night limit. Uh, I guess these are good problems to have. Okay, so... I have room for one three army. I could get a siege engine, but I don't know where it would go. Alright, so let's do two footmen in high garden. And that maxes me out, unfortunately. Man, does that max me out everywhere? Oh, good. Uh, let me do a siege engine here because I'm hoping someone can't stroll into Pike too easily. And this may, I'm down to I have five. Um, I'm not taking any of those. Probably take Starfall pretty easily, but I can't find Winterfell. I could take Winterfell. Uh, let me just come over here. Request Alliance. Hi, Martel. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. In light of that, we are going to... Okay, I imagine he's coming to attack there, which is not great. So we're going to keep Footman. Oh, buggers. So this is the point of the game where I'm a really conservative player, and I think you kind of need to press out a little at this point, but there's just so much on the board. Oh, yikes. Okay, no, nope, let's get mustering. I think, is this one that let's potentially vote? Everyone bids on the three info. Please tell me you bid. Good. Um, I don't really care about the Iron Throne. It's really up to good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the Iron Throne. Okay. We've been friends, Stark. And they put me pretty high up there. Let me do six here. No. Yeah, let me do five here. Nice. 13. And they've got all their cards back. Oh, it does pull well. Okay, let's do six here. I still didn't win that. Man, I could have gotten away with bidding a lot less too. Okay. So I, I want to defend these two areas pretty hard. I think I'm going to end up losing this to Martell. And hopefully I can just figure out something to... What is this? For each card in your discard, this card gains plus... Wow, that is great. I like the mechanics here. Like, if you have a ton of cards... A ton of cards in your discard. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um... All right, East Summer Sea is probably going to attack here, and there's not much that I can think to do about it. Let me add some nice defense here. Good support here. Could potentially consolidate. Do 
Let me move from the Bay of Ice down. You know, the winter Winterfell is looking a little juicy, but whatever. Now, support would help there additionally. A raid would also prevent. Yes, I like that. A raid would prevent this from supporting over. Um, I have one more special. It's not, it's not going to be a raid, that's for sure. So, do support here. Support here. Let me do a consolidate, and you are going to do... I could do a march. I'm really just trying to bide a minute of time to find an opening to take two more castles. Um, in theory, you could consolidate, but I doubt... Well, yeah, if you're moving out, I doubt it's going to work very well. Where am I going to get that other castle from? Starfall and crazy. Ooh, River Run. Maybe. There's a lot of death all around here. A lot. A lot. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll just leave you to move. There might be something opportune that pops up. And you will, yeah, raid in case there's support there. Why is there so much death? Just all, all around there. Oh, that, thank you, Stark. That was, that was beautiful. That was wonderful. Oh, good. At least I can get rid of this raid or support rather I don't even know what that burned okay All right what a perfect does this mean I'm not getting attacked? Oh, and River Run just got left open. River Run just got left really open. All right, first things first. Let's move out of camp because of supply, of course. <laughs> that was almost like, let me just go dock into Winterfell. Uh, so let me see if I can just burn this because I have nowhere to move. Thank you. How high up? Sark, that is certain. See, these are the two that I want to grab that extra castle from, and they're both going to go first in the Iron Throne, so I'm worried about them taking it back from me early on next round. Oh, this is another thing. It looks like this is saying we're only going to play to six rounds, which I know when you play this in the board game, it's supposed to go faster because you start off next to each every, well, next to each everyone. <laughs> Can't talk. But I didn't know it limited the rounds to six. Oh, bummer. Yep, they get all their cards back. I am highest up on castles, though. Starfall is pretty well defended. So I could backstab, I guess, Lannister. They're all the way up to... Hmm. But 
but they're just going to come back and take it with that. But they are, huh? Oh, come on. No one's taking the Eerie yet. I don't like all of this that would just come take it back. But I could do it. Alternatively, Starfall. Why do you have so much defense? Yikes. Yeah, I think if we're going to end on round six anyhow, it may be in my best interest to hold where I am and not to backstab Lannister. Hitting here, I wouldn't be able to take. That would just kind of be out of spite. This, they wouldn't have anywhere to retreat to. So it would at least remove some of the units off the board. And one of your power tokens. I don't think that contains a power token. So I think this would be low hanging fruit. I might be able to throw Asha. Which is my weakest card. I still have two of my good cards. Um, which is really surprising. All right. So you would not be supported at all. You would attack with a strength of two versus their strength of two. And then I guess worst case scenario, they would do, yeah, no, that'd be five on my three. I don't think I have anything to benefit from this. <laughs> kind of thematic. Jon Snow attacking while Sansa goes to get reinforcements, I suppose. Now, I do like this. This should get rid of that siege engine. At least I'm hoping the computer is smart enough to only attack when they're going to probably win. Oh, yep. They're uh, they're probably going to win that. That does weaken up Lannister. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, if I muster, I wouldn't actually get anything because I'm at my supply limit. And I can't turn that into a knight. I can't put it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could turn it into a siege engine. Uh, no, let me consolidate. Just in case we vote. And there's a chance we do. I don't know why Martel would. Doing pretty well on the tracks. Ah, but they do. Oh, probably because they also have the most power. Yikes. All right, so let me do one for the sword. And, oh, yikes, uh, three, six, two, mm. See, if I don't have any influence left, I can't leave an area without units, but I think that's fine. Flint's finger already has one. And that's probably where I would move out of. Sure. Well, that didn't really matter.
Okay, so if this is the last round, my objective is to really just hold on to the capsule that I have then. Do, do, yep. Uh, I do have a supply to be able to move out there now. Let's not make that mistake again. And for Pike, we are going to march you out as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, we need, we're gonna reinforce heavy there. We are going to, I mean, Lannister could come here and then take Pike. Which would not be fun. But I have my support there. Let me do my two supports here. Lannister is a bit beaten down on cards. If you're attacking all your participating knights, add one. To choose a house card in any player's discard pile, he gains the base combat strength and combat icons of that card. Ooh, that is brutal. Um, and they have the power to use it. Wait, what is this? Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. It's the last round. I have no intention of actually doing that. But whatever it is you want, Stark. Okay. Let's repeat what we did last time to raid here. Get rid of some support. Defense. If you're trying to want support for Greywater Watch, it's trying to defend. I don't even know what the computer is trying to ask me to do here to support them. Defense there. High Garden. Mm, you really don't even need the big defense token. You can get one of the smaller ones. Where's all the siege towers? I don't like this. This is this is scary. Actually, let me do this. <laughs> I I don't I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose all that. We'll give you a plus one march. And where do we have left to put tokens on? You are at the mercy of Martel if they want to. But I could move them here to support farther. Yeah, but if I do, I'll close the land bridge. Darn. Let's do a raid. Maybe I'll get lucky. Because then I'll be able to raid here and here. Pretty good defense. And where's the last place? Oh, high guard in itself. You are going to... Maybe I can march out and take the reach with this. Maybe I'll even get really lucky. Be able to take Starfall and the reach... I forgot about the reach. I maybe it could have ended this sooner. Let's see. Nope. Oh, now with plus two defense. Well, that's rude. You just asked me for help. All right, so with this raid order, hmm. wow, where are you going there, Lannister? This raid order can't burn anything, or neither can this one. Although I think it's lied to me before.
I mean, that just looks mean. I don't even know why they're doing this. Uh, but yeah, let me support my good friends Lannisters. It's especially mean because there's no place for Tyrells to run away from. I do think this expansion includes a lot more stuff from the books because in the TV shows they started deviating more and more away after the War of the Five Kings. But I haven't read or know a lot about the books, so maybe you guys can tell me. It's Jon Snow versus Ramsay. Alright. So I have three march orders I can do. One is here. Which I could take... I could probably take River Run, honestly. Oh, never mind. One, two... Three, four, five, two. Wow, what cards you got? I mean, you are down to. Oh, never mind. Kyburn would win it. And I don't think I have anything that would really counter that. Nope. The Reach has potential for me. Some marching up here. But Kyburn would also, again, be a problem. I'm just kind of assuming there's at least a combat four card somewhere. Starfall, I kind of want to just delay for now. So let's move this down here. And hopefully some other people will tear each other apart. Oh, there goes Kyburn, which means I could take River Run. And then potentially get the Reach to win? Maybe? Hopefully no one else hits Lannister. Your final combat strength is equal to the Wildlings threat number, which I would think would go to 10. Oh, ignore the text of the opponent's combat card. Nice. Nice. Alright, so my thought is that they can go into the reach. There's not really much defending there, and I don't see a rush for them to, to attack in that spot anyhow. So let's take River Run first. I don't think they don't they have any places left to move. And I'm worried that if they get attacked, they will lose this. And this should be low-hanging fruit, I think. Because this 5 would then go to 6. They're lower on the fiefdom track. My attack would be 2, which isn't great. So I would have to get 4. So I would have to play... You're on. Which isn't good. But I don't think I would need much to take the reach anyhow. So yeah, let's go ahead and go for it. Let's take you. Come on. You there. Alright. I'm attacking. I'm assuming they support themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a traitor. I get it. So then their one card, which I don't know why they let you do this either, because in the board game you can't see the opponent's cards. But I guess it's kind of a frivolous rule. So this would go up to, yep, I'd break ties. So as long as I get six, I'm good. So you're on. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get a special ability. Uh, 
thief some tiebreaker? You, yeah, you go away. Go. Wow, you have to. I guess you do have the ability to put that there. And then I guess that means I'm last to move. So I don't have the power to leave everything. The Tyrell's highest card is a three. I'm going to attack with a three, so it's going to be a five defense versus my three, four, five, six attack. Okay, good. Um, I don't think there's any support. I wish it highlighted that. Oh well. Uh, so as I said, um, just double check. Highest they can play is three. That would put them at five. They are lower on the feast of track. So as long as I beat five, I win. So yeah, let's play Vic Victorian. Vic Victorian? One of the two. And that should give me the seventh castle. Assuming the rules are the same. Okay. Nice. So yeah, I think the expansion is really good if you've played the game a lot and you know the opening positions for everything and you're kind of just going through the motions. Um, it also speeds things up a lot. So if you're playing with friends, it's kind of nice. Although it's 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 nicer, I think, a little in person. But just because if you're in person, it's more of a time issue, whereas this you can play completely turn-based if you want. Uh, yeah. Overall, I like the expansion, especially because it's like, what, five bucks or something like that. Um, yep, stat screen. Anyhow, if you liked the video, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe below. Um, really kind of makes my day when I see people liking and subscribing to videos. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time.